Hello, and welcome to our introductory module to Exploring Engineering and Technology. My name is Eugene Rutz. Uh, I'm at the College of Engineering at the University of Cincinnati, and again, welcome to our course. What we'll cover in this module are just a couple things. I want to talk to you about the course, how it'll run, what's different about this course than some of your other courses, and then I want to uh, explain to you some of the differences and similarities between engineering and engineering technology. And the course is kind of divided up into two halves, two sections, two parts. One is the things you'll do, and the other part is the things you'll learn. The in-class time with your high school instructors is you'll be doing things. That'll be spent mostly with hands-on projects and activities. We want to do this for a couple reasons. One, we think that, well, one, it's just more fun to do things than sit and be lectured to. So uh, we want this to be a course that you enjoy. And, and we really think that by doing things related to engineering and technology, you'll remember them more, you'll be able to appreciate them more, and you'll have a better sense of what engineers really do then. And we think that by doing it this way, you're going to have some serious fun. I mean fun that is with a purpose, that you'll learn some things and that uh, as a result of having fun doing these projects, you'll know more than what you would have otherwise. Your high school instructors will lead the projects. They'll do things that will be some big projects, some very short projects. You'll, get a, you'll have an opportunity to research, research ideas, to work together with teams, with other students. You'll also have lots of opportunities to take those ideas and those projects you've done and then tell others about them. So you'll spend time uh, doing a presentation like I'm doing now and also writing reports that talk about that. Because, you know, if you have a really great idea but you can't tell others about it, well, the idea is not so good because unless you can share it and share it in a way that's meaningful to others, uh, people can't use it. So that's a really important part of this course too. So that's what you'll do. What you'll learn is what it is about engineers and engineering technologists that sets them apart from other professions. We're going to cover a wide variety of uh, different disciplines of engineering. What I mean is things like civil engineering and electrical engineering. You're not going to learn a lot of, if you will, engineering topics. You're not going to learn about computational fluid dynamics in this class. But what you're going to learn is, well, what is it that engineers do? What do engineering technologists do? What kind of careers do they have? so that at the end of the course, you'll be able to know, hey, yeah, I'd really be interested in maybe aerospace engineering technology or civil engineering, so that you can make that decision for yourself. We'll talk about different tools that engineers use. And I don't mean slide rules. I mean computers, software, technology that engineers use to, to do the things they do to solve the problems. We also want you to recognize that, sure, it's great to be good at math and science and that we use math and science, but you know, all personality types have a spot in engineering. We need people who are very creative. We need people who are good at uh, conceptualizing and coming up with ideas and putting them down as drawings. We need people who can put teams together and lead teams and help people work together. So all those are important. So just maybe if you're not the top science student doesn't mean that you can't be a good engineer. You might be, so give it a chance. So that's what we'll do. That's what we're going to cover in this course. We're going to do some things, a lot of things, and we're going to learn uh, through these kind of modules just like this one about different kinds of engineering and the different uh, types of projects and work that engineers do. All right, so what is engineering? You know, most of us uh, who don't work in the profession uh, think of engineers and they think of Dilbert. And yeah, there are some engineers that are pretty nerdy that way, but not everybody is. Bill Nye has a degree in engineering. Uh, the president, uh, CEO of General Electric some years ago was uh, an engineer. I'm an engineer. Hey, I'm not nerdy. Well, not too much. But let's start somewhere with, with something you know. Let's talk a little about science and engineering and engineering technology. You're familiar with science. You've taken science classes. So you know that in science, you kind of look at ideas that surround nature and the universe, and you go, gee, how does that work? And why does it work? And what, what do we do with that? So scientists are all about new knowledge and discovering new things. Engineers and engineering technologists love science because we, we need it. Engineers study science with an application in mind. We want to have that science, the, the knowledge of the chemistry, for instance, so that we can make a, a, a better a kind of aspirin or make it more cheaply, for instance. Another example might be, you know, uh, a scientist, a physicist, might be interested in looking for a new uh, atomic particle because they want to know how, do, how does atoms fit together? How does the universe work? And they'll advance science and what we know about the universe that way. Well, the engineer would be interested in that too, but 
but for, with an application in mind. Maybe that, that new atomic particle or subatomic particle will help me make a better, faster computer chip that will cut down on the time it takes to do some processes. Or maybe it'll help me to make a, a process that will enable uh, some device to work better. So engineers and engineering technologists use science and math and computer tools, but with an application in mind. How can we make the world a better place? How can we solve a problem that exists that can help people do something better? When, when someone asks me, what's an engineer do? I, I say engineers are problem solvers. Now, we don't solve problems necessarily related to heart failure or the legal system, but we solve problems that relate to how people live their lives, how we use machines and systems, how we can make the world a better place. So engineers and engineering technologists use knowledge of math and science. They use their creativity and their imagination to come up with, gee, how can I make uh, this automobile be less polluting? How can I make food safer? How can I help patients who have lost a limb to lead fuller lives? So the, the range of opportunities, the range of topics that engineers uh, work on is huge. From the depths of the ocean to the outer reaches of space, from tiny particles to huge airplanes. Engineers and engineering technologists can make a difference in all these areas. All right, so engineering and engineering technology. What's the difference between those two? You've heard me mention them. And in this course, we'll sometimes talk about the two, but sometimes we'll, we'll talk about them the same because they both use math and science, and they're both problem solvers. But let's do it this way. Engineers spend more time in analysis, more time in design, more time uh, with mathematics, say, than engineering technologists do. Whereas the engineering technologists will spend more time figuring out, how do I make this work well? I need to put my hands on this, and working with their hands on the lab in the field to make things work. For instance, you know, the, um, the space shuttle or the, um, the, spa yeah, the space shuttle has a robot arm on it. It was engineers working with scientists who to analyze it to say, well, how should it move? What kind of materials should we use? What kind of energy system do we need with that? It was engineering technologists who made sure that it was put together and worked properly. When uh, you look at the curriculum for the two, meaning the, the courses and the uh, classes that they take, engineers will take a more, few more courses on with mathematics. They'll take a few more courses related to design and analysis. The engineering technologist will spend a little bit more time in the lab or in the field. They'll spend more time with courses that tell you how I do this, whereas the engineer talks about how do I design this or analyze this. Both provide enormous opportunities. Both uh, take advantage of math and science. They take advantage of creativity and imagination. And both uh, offer career opportunities that are just wonderful as far as having a good income and rewarding work to do. So looking at the whole thing, science, engineering, and technology, really the opportunities are limited only by your imagination. So come with me on this journey. We're going to look at a variety of different types of engineering and engineering technology, explain what they do, uh, how they're applied, what kind of research is going on, and I see if you can't find one that really interests you. All right, I'll see you next time.